Arriving on my first day in seventh grade, I realized very quickly the other girls didn't have their clothes handmade. Between my dad and my stepdad, the two of them combined couldn't provide for our family financially. So my mom did what the majority of women will do. She handled it. And she handled it by working a job she absolutely despised in order to still make sure we had clothes. And what I've realized in owning a financial planning firm that focuses specifically on retirement planning over these last 18 years is I never want women to feel like I felt as a child financially. Women hold more wealth in the country now than men do. They are, have been statistically proven to be better investors. But also the truth remains that longevity is now the biggest risk that they face because 80% of men die married and 80% of women die single. And so she has got to have a better idea of what's going on with her finances because I know that there are thousands and millions of women who are just like my mom who will give and give and give to the people that they love and cherish and will often sacrifice themselves because of it. And so I wanna be able to shine light and say, yeah, you can still do this and this is still great and you wanna to give to your grandkids and you wanna do this kind of stuff, but we need to make sure that you're handled first. And so really that's our overall goal is to be able to communicate in a way that gives the information that they need and to be able to partner with somebody who understands really the unique characteristics that face women and really just to be able to answer that overarching question, am I gonna be okay? And that is really what I am so passionate about 